And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. We're starting out this review by showing you the box Ringo Flamingo because the game is all about the box. When we open up the box, inside the box, you will find, if we can get the box open, we can do it! Alright, inside the box, you'll find this lid here, which we'll come back to in a second. And then you'll find a boat. Each player gets a boat, and their boat, they're going to be taking and using, has a plastic covering here with a whole bunch of rings, hence the name Ringo Flamingo. So each player takes their boat out, and then in the middle here we have a bunch of flamingos and alligators. We'll put these flamingos and these alligators back on the board. As you can see, they go in the board like this, and then you can twist them, twist them and lock them. And so I'll do that with all the different pieces. Take the flamingos, twist them, and lock them. It's starting to look like some people's backyards, I suppose. Uh, with all these plastic flamingos. And also I'll put the alligators in here too. And where's the other alligator? And there we go. Then each player is going to play using their boat and their rings. You're going to take your rings and your boat and what you'll do is you'll put the ring in the boat like this, lean it back and then let go and flip it at the board. Everyone is going to do this simultaneously. Uh, flipping their rings and trying to get them to land around the flamingos. If, and at the same time, trying desperately not to get them to land on anything else. So we'll keep flipping here. Eventually I'm going to get it. And it, the game becomes really fast and furious when you have four players playing as they're trying to get rings around these flamingos and not you know you have rings shooting all over the place shooting all over the board it can be a really a really fun silly game and it's one that you know here i am trying and i only managed to ring one thing so far and so you keep playing until all the players have shot off all their rings but why hurry why not go slow and that's because of the way the scoring works actually you'll take a look at the board and so for example here I'm the only person who got a ring on this flamingo, so I will get points for that. If more than one person gets a ring, it's the person who gets the ring on the bottom who's going to get most of the points, two points as opposed to one point for everyone else. Getting a ring around one of these gators, though, or crocodiles, or whatever they are, that will cause you to lose points. See, Nelly lost points because she got a ring around the alligator. Or did I put that there? You put it there. Oh, okay. Sorry. So that's really the game. But what makes the game so interesting is just how well the components are. I really like how this boat, not only does it store the discs inside, but when you place the ring in, and these rings are really bendy. I mean, I suppose you could break them, I'm not going to try. Really bendy, just pull back and let go, and the ring flies off. You can get a pretty good arch up on the ring, flipping it pretty high, and it's pretty easy to get on the box itself, and I like how the box is used as the game, putting the board up there. When you're done, you simply take the box off, take the flamingos out, put them back, and everything packs away nice and neatly. This is a dexterity game to be sure, and one in which we are trying to get our rings to go around the flamingos in the middle of the game. And it's one that little kids can play, although like any dexterity game, once you get good at it, you're going to really smash other people. But it's still a lot of fun and you know you're flipping them as fast as you can sometimes so that you can get them into the over the flame mangoes before everyone else does, but the person who takes their time and goes slow and steady, they still have a chance to get points because I've yet to see someone hit every flamingo on the board. Anyway, Melody, what do you think of the game? It's really fun and good. Why? Why do you like it so much? The rings! Right. Shooting the rings all over the place. How can you beat that? Ringo Flamingo! It's easy to find in stores. Go check it out. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.